If you look back along the history of the planet, it took hundreds and millions of years for human population to go from zero to two billion. Looking ahead to 2050, the population of the planet is going to be nearly 10 billion people. There's going to be an enormous pressure building on resources such as water, energy, and food. Fertility rates have dropped. Baby boomers are retiring. At the same time, the workforce is going to shrink in the advanced economies and in North Asia. But at the same time, you have other parts of the globe where the population is really going to be growing dramatically. You're going to have a younger and younger population. Globally, it, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. And over the last 30 years, there was sort of a trend towards, let me grab as much as I can, sort of a greedy mentality around the world. It was scary. Maybe the world we live in isn't sustainable the way it is, and we have to take responsibility. We just have to deal with it now. Capital plays a critical role. We very clearly need to direct capital in ways that will help accelerate the pace of innovation and finding solutions to these new challenges. Companies are experimenting, introducing new products, in particular in the health and food sector. Going forward, the dearth of labor will return workers to a position of strength. Wages will rise, inflation will rise, real interest rates will rise, and so will productivity. Sustainable business is good business. We've built the capacity to investigate fund managers, to investigate organizations that are targeting this because we're getting demand from our clients. As the younger demographic begins to be the main source for investment funds, then it's only going to get stronger.